Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay, that's cool. not how I roll. <laughs> that's well, it awesome. just upsets the car. I mean, if you lift, you transfer the weight to the front. Yeah. Well, I mean, like on a motorcycle, so I. Mm, yeah, wheeling on a motorcycle. Yeah. So yeah, so there's there's tracks if you watch the British sport bike series where they're actually flying. They're not. I've jumping, seen that. Flying. I forget what track that is, but the hill, the wash. Oh my god! I think it's Brands Hatch, maybe. Um, but they're coming up a hill. Yeah. They're coming up a hill and then they're just so fast. I know they're what you're flying talking through about. the air and, and they're angled over too. It's nuts. Isle of Man TT, same thing. Yeah, that that's crazy stuff. So well, how do you manage the power with cold tires or uh, not warm tires? Going down the hill is pretty easy. Like there's so much weight pushing down, you don't really need you know super hot temp tires. Okay. Uh, but you'll feel like once the tires heat up, it, it feels a little different. But we can blast down this hill, so okay. have plenty of grip. So cool. you ready? Yep. Cool. One thing I love about this car is the shifting noise. So
actually compiled it in command. What? Yeah, how does that work? <laughs> just I just know enough about flying that they trust me. Okay. And, uh, wow, that's crazy. He didn't let me he didn't let me take it off. He didn't let me land it, which is good. For sure. Uh, because when he tried to let me hover, if you watch my videos, you'll see it is like having a ball and balancing a marble on it. Yeah. And you're the, the whole time. I mean, you're never not trying to balance the marble. The marble's always got inertia somewhere else. Thank you for doing that for me. That, yeah, for sure. I really wanted to see what this car was like. Yeah, even though anytime. it's scary for me as a passenger. That's the hardest thing for me to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I feel bad about No, that, that no, I'm time. actually glad you did it because it helps me face my fear. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Because, I, I mean, my expectation of, of if you had told me we're going to do that, I'm like, just please, God, don't let me scream. <laughs> I got you. Because the last time I screamed was uh, the Superman ride. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was yelling inside my head. That's the one that goes backwards, right? No, it's the one that goes straight up and then falls. Oh, that's right. It yeah. falls like several stories and then does it again. And when I'm on the ride, when they lift you up to about 10 feet. Yeah. I'm screaming at myself, tell them to stop, tell them to let me off. I hate falling. Yeah. And uh, and once I got done with it, somebody told me, hold a dime in your hand. Yeah. And then count to 1004, and you'll see the dime Just rocket, it'll, it'll shoot up like a rocket. You're actually falling, but having my focus off of me mm, on the dime okay. helped me over time. Then I wanted to get back in line, but I didn't want to wait for an hour for a ride. <laughs> That's cool. That's so, really cool. Yeah, but I, I, I thought I would have screamed right there. <laughs> but that's good because that's like Turpin drowning fire and passenger crashing. Yeah. Is like my brain plays tricks on, on me. So I wanted to do it in this car because you didn't scare me at all. There's no, there's no fear of me in this seat. Yeah. It doesn't have that hand of God on your ass. Totally. Because of the gearing? Yes. But you can't hide this much horsepower. No, not at all. I mean, you'd have to do like a, a 110 rear gearing to hide it. <laughs> For sure. Even with trash control on, um, it, it, I feel like there's a second delay because there's so much torque and so much power. The trash control really has to tone down all that power. Really? And it, I feel like this car is one of the easiest cars to get loose, even with trash control on, just because it, it happens in an instant like when it right. comes around it happens so fast well that's the other reason i didn't understand why they didn't offer a manual because i view the clutch as a safety feature yes yeah, yeah. if you feel it you can just put the clutch in and take the power away yeah and it's just like a motorcycle if you feel your high siding this was told me back in 92 when i started racing he told me if you can feel a high side coming on that you you're about to high side if you grab the clutch, the worst that will happen is you'll low side. Okay. Because I the reason why is you're hitting that locks. You're, you're hitting, high side happens when you hit your lock stop. Catch and you're always counter steering in a car. Yeah. So just like that spun out, that would have been a high side on a motorcycle. Totally. Because you hit your lock. Yeah. So if you feel your lock and you're counter steering on a motorcycle, if you pull your clutch, the chain, everything well, the chain drops. You can't high side if there's no power. Yeah, I never thought about that. It's so like I, even, what, even dumping the throttle, the engine brake of it then sometimes. You, then you put the weight on the front. Yeah, yeah. I never thought about pulling the clutch. It just neutralizes. Right, but I keep telling people the reason I want a six-speed so bad always is because I have the clutch. Yeah. And if I ever am too far over steering, I just put the clutch in and just let it wind out. Makes sense. And yeah. then shift into a higher gear and then roll out of it. Luckily, I've never, I mean, I've high-sided on dirt bikes my whole life. Um, well, you just high-sided a Mustang. <laughs> yeah. Technically. I don't like to talk about that. <laughs> no, it's good because if you're not, if you're not, if you're not going over the edge in a controlled environment. Yeah. You're always going to be afraid to do 100%. Totally. And I tell totally. people when I race motorcycles, I said, you've never seen me race more than 75%. They're like, uh-uh, do you're so fast. I'm like, no, I, I race at 75%. I have at least 25% in reserve and there's a video of me getting rear-ended twice at Houston on my motorcycle what yes and there are seven saves I do a, I do real speed and said okay how many saves did I have yeah uh, they go two. I go watch it and then I 
set in a super slow mode. Yeah. There's six or seven saves oh, on my yeah. KTM Superbike. I got I got punted in my rear tire from behind. What KTM Superbike? Uh, RC8R Superbike. No way. Superbike tires, yeah. Whoa, okay. Yeah, cool. and it was it was uh, 100 it was the most powerful KTM Superbike in the kind in the world because I had Ty Howard's uh, race cam. Okay. And they only sent to Ty because he's the West top of the United States totally. KTM guy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I got a great picture of Chris Fermore here. I, I told my wife, I said, okay, this is what Chris is doing. If I want to get lapped right before the finish, I have to do this lap time. So, because he just got the record for Pikes Peak Hill time. No way. And then, yeah, he brought that bike here and Ty took him around the track and got him up to speed. Yeah. So he's going to do in the heavyweight twins with me. 